Hey guys, it's Eddie here from Delene Property and today we're doing a really quick video about uh, credit files and protecting your credit file if you want to build a property portfolio and purchase property in the future. Um, for me, speaking from my experience, once again, always no financial advice. Um, from my experience, when the bank is, um, when you're going for a property loan, your credit file has a lot to do with it, right? Um, here, here's, from, from my experience, after about four or five properties um, that I purchased, the one of the banks I went to, they basically said, um, there's too much activity on your credit file and you've got too many credit file, credit hits on your credit file. And they basically declined me a loan. Um, what, I, what I failed to realize at that point in time is that if you've got a credit file, one thing to do is, um, you know, you can download, it used to be called Vita, now it's called Equifax, which is, so www.equifax.com.au. If you go on that site, it's, you can pay a yearly prescription of about $90, $100 or, or less. Um, but that basically gives you your credit file, your credit score, and a report of all your credit inquiries. So anytime, for example, that you've got a, um, got a uh, phone plan, Anytime you've uh, got a credit card, anytime you've got some, you know, crappy furniture from, you know, off that zero interest free, all that kind of stuff. Anytime you've done anything at all, you got a car loan, you bumped up your credit, you know, um, card, etc., and even re redone your uh, your phone plan, that comes up on your credit file and that stays there for five years before it leaves. Um, right. So, for example, after about four or five properties, and I had, you know, a couple, like one or two credit cards at the time. You know, did, did a few phone plans and all the other stuff. It tends to look really bad, basically, from the bank size. If you've got, you know, say, 15 credit inquiries or credit hits against your name, not defaults, not defaults at all, but just inquiries. So anytime you go for that, it, it sh anytime you go for any type of credit, like a phone plan or anything like that, it shows up as a credit inquiry on your credit file. So if you've got a lot of them for some reason, um, you know, the bank will take that into consideration and they might say, you know, this guy's, you know, he must, must be doing something dodgy. He's got all these credit files. He's doing all these, all, all this stuff. So, you know, if you're looking to build a portfolio and grow, you know, you might be purchasing property, releasing equity from it. You purchase property, that's a credit file. You know, if you get another pre-approval, that, that's a credit file. That, that's sorry, that's a, that's a credit hit. So anytime you're getting a pre-approval, that is a credit uh, hit or credit inquiry against your name. Even if you don't use the use the pre-approval, some people I've spoken to they would have got you know say three or four pre pre-approvals from different banks to find out which one's going to lend them the most money, and they've got four credit hits on their file, and then when they go to, for the loan, they're like, "What what's going on here? You've got all these credit hits, and sometimes they don't even get the loan." So, yeah, plain and simple, you've got to protect your credit file. That's your you know your your plane ticket to keep building your portfolio. You know, that, that's how you're gonna continue being able to grow your portfolio. Um, so looking after credit file is very, very important. And not many people know that. That's like the back end stuff to a lot of the banks. So, you know, sometimes they'll say, if you, you know, prove you can write down and print out your credit file, take it into them and say, you know, this is what, it, this is what all the hits was from, etc. But, you know, most people, most, most of you, most people, they won't have that, um, you know, experience purchasing their first or you know second property, but if you're looking to get your fourth, fifth, you know, etc., or, or you know, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, um, that can happen. So it's something to be careful of. And Equifax is, you know, if you jump on that and you know check it out, you can monitor that, and it doesn't cost much at all. So yeah, that's my thought. There's a few you know quick tips and, and strategies, I guess, to making sure that you're able to continue growing your portfolio, or you know, at least just you know purchase even the first one or two properties. Um, you know, and not getting stuck. So yeah, take care of your credit file, uh, be safe, and I'll catch you next video. Thanks guys, bye.